what inspires us at EPUSA? These beautiful, courageous faces and the many incredibly determined warriors we've encountered in the epilepsy community through the years. We feel immensely grateful to be a part of this community and are honored to provide a high quality monitoring system that is helping families not only sleep better, but live more peaceful, independent lives. The clinically proven MFIT Movement Monitor with its innovative, sophisticated technology is extremely reliable and user-friendly. This short instructional video will take you step-by-step step through the installation process. It's our hope that once you have the MFIT Movement Monitor in place, you'll be on your way to sleeping sound while your loved one is sleeping safe. The contents of the box will include the MFIT manual, the MFIT control unit, a bed clip for mounting on the headboard, and the patented MFIT bed sensor. You may also have ordered one or both of the optional accessories, which include the remote alarm and the medical grade AC adapter. A typical setup will include the MFIT control unit, mounting bracket, two AA alkaline batteries, the optional remote alarm and transmitter, the optional medical grade AC adapter and plug-in blade, and the MFIT bed sensor. The front of the MFIT control unit has a row of three LED light displays. The green light flashing indicates movement activity and presence in the bed. The blue light lets you know that power is on. The red light flashing, along with a distinctive beeping noise, will alert you that battery power is running low. Next, you'll want to open the MFIT control unit by firmly gripping one of the tabs located on either side. Pull out and lift up. Now you'll insert the two AA alkaline batteries provided according to the diagram. Be sure to press firmly in place. Volume and the preset delay will be set at the dip switches numbered 1 through 8 located at the top, and sensitivity can be adjusted at the orange rotary dial located in the upper right hand corner. Replace the lid by snapping firmly into place. Now we're ready to connect the MFIT bed sensor, AC adapter, and remote alarm to the MFIT control unit. Firmly plug the MFIT bed sensor cable into the correct connection point located on the underside of the MFIT control unit. Next, you'll connect the AC adapter to the X1 connection point. The adapter will plug into a wall outlet at bedside. Next, remove tab from remote alarm transmitter. Then connect into the X2 Ethernet connection point. You'll hear a click to let you know it's firmly in place. The remote alarm will be plugged into an electrical outlet and you'll have a range up to 500 feet from the MFIT control unit. The MFIT bed sensor will be placed beneath the mattress below the chest area. The MFIT control unit is turned on by pressing the orange SW1 button. Hold the switch in for three seconds until you hear a beeping sound. The blue LED light will flash indicating power is on. Use the included bed clip to mount control unit onto the headboard. To test for faster movement, place the palm of your hand on top of the mattress, directly above where the MFIT bed sensor is placed. Press faster. You'll know you're going the correct speed because the green LED light on the MFIT control unit will begin to flicker faster. Keep pressing at that speed until the alarm sounds. This should be just past the preset delay you've selected. You're all set. And if you have any questions, we always encourage families to contact our office for assistance at 512-667-7507.